Hello, and this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 24th of October 2020. A rather satirical look back on the week that ends today. A rainy day. Uh, basically, a uh, fine ales, a tech, a beer, politics, and a couple of other things. Anyway, today I'm just playing around with various bits of tech. I'm recording this on my iPhone, a rather old 10s in 4K, with some lights and a tripod and a remote control. We shall see. Anyway, uh, this thing is prone to freezing. Technology is great when it works. So let's start off with the word or the phrase of the week. And it was a difficult one. Um, there was an emergency Beano. There were a lot of C panel problems. That's hosting. Uh, fire break? Well, anyway, settled on essential. What is essential? Is it books? Is it bedding? Is it clothes? Well, it's none of those because you can't buy any of those in stores in Wales as from today. However, the internet will root around. I'm not sure if they wanted to give uh, Mr. Bezos a lot more money, but that's certainly the result. And yes, I think we could have all seen that one coming. So, no hats off there. Anyway, um, let's start with uh, last Saturday. Summer onions. Planting. Um, and I think I've got 10 pots worth um, all done. And I have some more compost, 100 litres. And if it does stop raining, I'm going to pop out and do some more pots. Actually, I've got to start eating some of these summer onions. <laughs> um, they don't last very well. High um, moisture content, but what can you do? Um, 2020 has been that sort of year. So, uh, moving on. Um, last week, my hosting, Economy Linux, was moved over from GoDaddy's standard stuff to GoDaddy and cPanel. It will be seamless, they said. You will not need to do anything, they said. OK, TLDR, too long, didn't read. Not seamless. Had to create a new password. I'm not too worried about that. And the FTP account was pointing at the wrong place. I ended up with online chat. I'm not quite sure why you can't raise a ticket. That would have been a lot better. Um, but eventually, and he was very patient, but he hadn't seemed to have been briefed. Uh, I think he was from the Indian subcontinent or somewhere. Um, not in the Lower Rumley Valley. Um, we managed to get there. It is better. It's an industry standard and the hosting seems much faster. But what a faff. What a huge faff. Hmm. Um, I've got to look away now because my notes are over there. OK, so then on Monday, uh, sitting in the Tumble Inn, watching the world go by, well, the TV, and um, Mr. Drakeford, it's going to be a fire break. Of course, it couldn't be a circuit break because not invented in Wales. And we have to be different. And we're all in it together. Yeah, no. There's a bit of cynicism there, you probably haven't guessed, but um, in the morning, just before it was announced, I did tweet out and I put hashtag firebreak in there and I've had my, well, 
the biggest number of impressions for a single tweet I've ever had. In the past, some beers and some pictures of Vulcans and Victors have had quite a lot of impressions. Usually either with hashtag VForce or hashtag DIPA or such like. But hashtag Firebreak gave me 2,509. My stats just shot up. Hey, politics and Twitter. A lot of that going on at the moment, you know. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So... I just had to have an emergency beano. I said, oh, I wouldn't go out on a Saturday because they've only got a couple of beers on and long story. Mm. So Tuesday, day off, on the bus. No one else on the bus. 100% mask on, due to the fact it was only me. Discovered a new bit of kefili. Um, went looking for, um, oh, can't think of the name of the brewery there from, Cumbran X, Tiny Rebel People, Brew Monster. Um, I found where they're going to go, and there are a lot of casks there already, and found a school I never knew was there. Hmm. Anyway, Tommy Cooper, Kefili Castle, and then the Malcolm Uphill. And I must say, the staff, and especially a, should I say barmaid, bar person, on the door, recognised me, told me what guest ales they had on. <laughs> um, friendly, professional, safe and sensible. However, I am considerably out of practice. Uh, I went in at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 8 o'clock in the morning is when the bar opens in Caerphilly apart from today because all the pubs are shut um, and I went through until just after three-ish, quarter past three, something like that, two pints and two cans of brew dog. Well, well, well out of training. I had a bag of chips later. Couldn't finish those. Out of training. Chip shop, I believe, now is closed as well. Did I tell you in the Black Friday sales, um, I got a new Fire HG Plus 8 inch. I really like them. They are not state of the art. They are not iPads. And when you set the things up, you are under no illusion that it is a consumption device for Amazon. However, my last one, 2015, so it does last, was still getting operating system updates. I'm very impressed. And the new one, uh, I can even get private internet access on there. And it had an update this week. Um, that's my VPN program. So I, um, I bought some books. <laughs> I bought some books online, which I can still do, but I can't go to Tesco's and get any books or DVDs, or Blu-rays, or Asda's, or Aldi. Um, one of them was called Thunder Run. Um, it was about the Second Gulf War and a tank division um, rolling into the centre of Baghdad. It is excellent. It's written about the people and the things that they had to go through and life. Amazon Books, really, really good. Um, I know other people don't. It's a consumption device. It works well. And I think I'm going to be doing a lot more reading. Who knows? Anyway, um, what have we got? There was quite a lot of work stuff in the week. Um, but the Official Secrets Act precludes me from telling you what actually went on. And Spoons, the tumble in, had no gammon steaks or any steaks on Friday. So they'd run their stocks down well and their beer stocks. Which is just as well because I have the feeling that this 17 day long fire break isn't going to be 17 days. I had six weeks in Caerphilly and the figures are still going up. Now I know a lot of people are a bit wearisome don't trust the figures i have my doubts as well 
but for whatever reason they are still going out and I don't think this two weeks and three days is going to make a jot of difference. I hope it does because at the end of the week when it finishes I'm supposed to be off to Exeter and then the Friday after that Hereford. Hmm we shall see I somehow doubt it. Anyway Thursday night I went to B and Q, 100 litres more of compost and was told that they would be open next week which I thought was good so I could get some more compost. I uh, had an email from them yesterday saying yes but um, our kitchen section and our garden centre won't be open because Welsh Assembly and I know they're the Welsh Government but they just jumped up Welsh Assembly to me and they want more Assembly members as if we're short of them. And then there was Tesco's and then there were Asda's and then, no, if it gets colder and you need extra bed in, tough. Well, not actually tough. Amazon. It has been one of those weeks. Today it is grey, overcast and it is drizzling. I think tomorrow will be similar. I need to get out and start on more summer onions. Anyway, feedback? You know where I am. Um, let's see how this goes. Bye bye. Reach down. <laughs>